welcome back to Mario's Kitchen. Today I'd like to show you how I make baked ziti. It's one of my granddaughter's favorite recipes. All right. In here I have a half a teaspoon of pepper, half a teaspoon of garlic, and a half a teaspoon of onion powder, and about two and a half teaspoons of parsley. You could change it around to what you like. You've got to tweak the recipes to your liking. Now this is a pound and a half of ricotta. I'm like the professionals. I could judge it. Watch it turns out to be three pounds at the end. Some judge I am. All right. A pound and a half of ricotta. Full cup of grated cheese. Be generous. This is the time for the flavoring. Then these are four sausages I fried up. I took the casing off and I did the sausage. Three eggs go in here. And mozzarella. I use a half a pound of mozzarella. You've got to do it to your liking. Now I held back about uh, three tablespoons or so of mozz grated mozzarella so that I could um, sprinkle it on top of the, of the baked ziti when, when this is over. Let me mix this up. And then I'm going to throw in a quart of sauce. When I make the sauce, I make uh, seven or eight quarts at a time. So it's ready to go. You need that meat in here. If you don't want to use sausage, use chopped meat. It could be made without it, but it's got a lot of flavor. A lot of great flavor. All right, that's somewhat mixed. Now here's a quart of ready-made sauce. I feel like a drummer when I do that. I've already boiled a pound of ziti. Let me mix this up and we'll put the ziti in here. We get it in the pan and we're going to put it in the oven. When I first put it in the oven for about 45 minutes, I'm going to cover with aluminum foil. Then I'll take it off, sprinkle on the mozzarella. I'll show you, but right now I want to mix this up. All right, these are my helpers here. Two great people in my life, Alyssa and Michael. Can you guess they're my grandchildren? Michael is taping and Alyssa's in training. They're both in college so that they're not always home when they need to tape. All right, now we're going to mix the pasta in here. Mix it up nice, get everything coated. There's plenty of everything in here. My grandchildren like the cheeses. For me, I wouldn't do this much cheese. You tweak it to your liking when you're ready. All right, this is good now. And I want to pause a few minutes to get the tray. All right, welcome back. Now I got the ziti and the pan in place. I'm going to put this in the pan. You can see this is a generous, generous amount. around, cover with aluminum foil, put it in a 400 degree oven, about 45 minutes. After 45 minutes we're going to uncover it, sprinkle some mozzarella on top, and we're ready to go. And I'm going to put this in the oven. We put the ziti in the pan and we're going to put it in an oven 450 for 45 minutes. I put it in the middle. 
in the middle rack on the other. And 45 now, we've got to say. No, that's not right. No, that's four minutes. 45. That's 45 minutes now, right? 45. All right? We put in the oven, 450 for 45 minutes. And we'll be back. It's been 45 minutes. We're going to sprinkle some additional mozzarella on top. I don't put too much. You'll judge it. After you make it the first time you judge it, you see how much you want to put on top. And now I'm going to put in another 10, 15 minutes. When I see that's getting kind of coated, crispy a bit, the mozzarella is melted, we are done. I'm going to put it on for 10. It's been an additional 15 minutes. See? The mozzarella is melted. Made it a little bit crispy all around. I, I like the ziti like this. You could always add more sauce. This was a quarter sauce to a pound of pasta. Whatever you might like to eat, whatever is your liking. I want to thank you for watching today. This is Mario's Kitchen.